Sand Creatures. This has been the sandstorm of the century. The door's stuck. I'll try getting to the top. Got it. We're in. Chris, you're not going to believe this. Oh, <laughs> you know that sandstorm that hit us in the desert? It hit Animal Junction, too. Unbelievable. The place is covered in sand. And so are we. That's one of the great things about creature adventuring in the desert. You'll always bring a little bit of the desert back with you. Sand. But me, I always bring a lot of sand back. Talk about getting sand in your shoe. <laughs> now that is a lot of sand. You know, having all this sand in Animal Junction's great. It's like having our own beach. Where we can play beach volleyball. Your serve, Chris. All right. Hey, let's call Zabu. Zabu! Hey, Zabu, get in here. <laughs> nice work, Chris. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Sandstorm's over, buddy. Zaboom a boom! Have you seen him anywhere? Hey! Sabu came in through the roof! <laughs> I'll get him a snack. There's always something good in the snack machine. What do we have for Zabu today? <laughs> I think he's found a snack already. <laughs> he always finds the tasty leaves. Don't you, Zaboom a foo? Zab? Uh oh. Sam? I don't think Zabu wants to eat sand. Let's try again. Now that's more like it. Something nice and sweet. Zabu's such a good buddy. <laughs> Zabu, I have a mango. Mangoes are slimy. But Zabu loves them. Yeah, he loves all the snacks. <laughs> Was yummy. How are you doing? I have a joke. Yeah. Two seagulls are flying over a beach. One of them says, caw, caw, caw. And the other one says, funny, I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Another good one. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Manga, Zika. I can't believe my mind. Animal Junction is covered with sand. Wow. Yeah, it's everywhere. In between my toes, too. Sand feels good on my toes. I like sand. Yeah, it feels good. Sand is fun to play in. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Mangatsika animal I saw was playing in the sand. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? This creature likes to pop out of the sand. She lives in the sand with her friends, and she loves the sand. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Bogatska, Bogatska animal. She has claws, amazing claws for digging sand. <laughs> She's a sand-loving creature who's always with a friend. Do you know who she is? Good clue, Zabu. Yeah, let's review. Long, pointy face, pops up out of holes in the sand, digs holes. I know who the mystery animal is. A meerkat. Looks like more meerkats to me. You're right, there are two meerkats. Wait, make that three. Where? There. Ah, mystery animals are here. Ah! Meerkats are incredible little creatures who live in the African desert. And they love checking out everything. They're exploring the sand dunes. Meerkats exploring everything in Animal Junction. <laughs> Including me. I'm gonna call you Sandy, you Sandra, and you Sandwich. Meerkat. You don't look like a cat to me. I'm not a kitty cat. 
That's because meerkats aren't even cats at all. Well, what are they then, chickens? No, Zob. Meerkats are members of the mongoose family. They're really smart little creatures who care a lot about each other. Meerkats live together in big groups of up to 30 members, and they watch out for each other too. Meerkats are very fun, very busy, very curious little mongooses. Yeah, they're trying to find out everything in Animal Junction. And I know why meerkats like being in the sand. It feels so great. <laughs> it sure does, Zob. Yay! I'll go in the sand oh. if it's shiny. Oh, I'll go in if it's Goobleberry Gooey. I like Goobleberry. Meerkats are always on the move. But you know what I keep wondering? What, Martin? Well, meerkats are desert creatures, right? So even though there's so much sand in Animal Junction, it's not a desert. So what brought the meerkats to Animal Junction? Exactly. Maybe water. Maybe. Maybe. They might be thirsty and looking for water. All right, meerkats, to the water! Woo! It's gotta be wet. <laughs> hey, where'd the meerkats go? And where's Zabu? They were right behind us. <laughs> we checked out the water and we're all wet. But the meerkats don't seem to be interested in water at all. Well, what do they want to do? Huh? Look at that. You've got paws and claws. Well, I've got hands and nails. Know what I like to do with them? Climb. Come on, let's all climb. Come on, guys, follow me. Climb, climb. Climbing's fun. Huh. Huh. I guess they don't want to climb. Well, maybe they want to leap. Come on. Leap, leap. Leaping's fun. <laughs> huh. They don't want to climb or leap. Now, who wouldn't want to do that? Maybe the meerkats want to do what meerkats really love to do. What? Dig. <gasps> Dig? Oh. See the meerkats' extra long claws? They're like mini shovels, and they're great for digging. Hey, let's dig like the meerkats. Come on, you can do it. I really dig this. <laughs> Get it, dig? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when you dig like a meerkat, you always dig between your legs. Meerkats dig a lot to make their amazing underground homes. These homes can have 90 entrances with a tangle of tunnels connecting underground chambers. Wow, what a home. But they're not moving in. No, they're not looking for a home here. But they are looking for something. What could it be? Hmm. Maybe they're hungry. When a meerkat's hungry, he sniffs around, <laughs> sniffing for scorpions or millipedes or any other kind of creepy crawly that might be good to eat. Once she smells her prey, she springs into action. She grabs her prey, then she chows down on whatever she sniffed out. No doubt about it, meerkats are great sniffers. <laughs> they sniff? Mankatsika, I'm a meerkat sniffer. <sighs> I got sand in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he had sand up his nose? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hurry up, Martin. I have. It's you. It's you. That lemur can sure sneeze. I still don't know what the meerkats are looking for. But there's one thing I do know. I'm feeling meerkatish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel meerkatish. How about you? Meerkatish. I'm feeling kind of meerkatish. Mama, 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 meerkatish. I don't think the meerkats were hungry after all. Okay, so we know the meerkats didn't come to Animal Junction for food. Right. Or for a nap. 
Right. Or to drink. Mm, right. Okay, so why did the meerkats come to Animal Junction? Well, maybe they came here to rest. Look, they're chilling out. They're not chilling. Heads up, they're warming up. Warming up? Martin's right. Desert nights are cold, so in the morning, meerkats stand up and face the sun. That's a great way to warm their cold bodies. Yeah, but by noon, it gets very hot. So now the meerkats really do have to chill out. So you know what a meerkat does? She digs a hole in the sand and sprawls in it on her belly. The sand is so cool that it cools down her whole body and that feels good on a hot meerkat belly. Hey, let's try it. Yeah, sand sure feels good on my belly. Yeah, they're cool and refreshing. Perfect for chilling out when it gets hot. Hey, you want to hear what happened to me once in Zabu land? Yeah. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and I landed oof, next to Snow Lemur. He was playing in the sand. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, hi, Zabu. You know, when I come down to Zabu land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah, oh yeah, it's cool in the morning. Yeah, oh, yeah. and it reminds me of the snow on top of Mount Zabu Mafu. Oh yeah, oh, it feels good. Oh, oh yeah. I like the sand too. Oh. It tickles my fingers. Oh <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, the sand tickles my sides too. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, it tickles my sides too. <laughs> can't tickle our sides. Oh, What's right, going on? All right, Sabu. It's not Sam. It's me. It's me. I don't know what was tickling you. So Snow Lemur, wow. Fibby, and I spent the rest of the morning playing in the sand together. <laughs> Martin? Uh, Chris? What's that sound? Hear that? A meerkat call. That's a Mungatsika sound you're making, Sandwich. I think she's trying to talk with the other meerkats outside. I think the rest of the meerkats are outside. Let's go see. <laughs> you're right, Zob. They're talking to the rest of the group who are just outside. That makes sense. Meerkats always stick together and talk together. They communicate with clucks, chirps, grunts, and murmurs. Meerkats talk to each other because they depend on each other. They hunt together, babysit each other's young, build homes together, and watch each other's backs. Somebody's always on the lookout for enemies while the other meerkats are off exploring. That's it! Yeah, you know what? Those meerkats didn't come to Animal Junction to drink. <laughs> or to take a nap in a burrow. Or to eat or climb. They came to explore. And with their trusty guards outside, they could play all they wanted until it was time to go home. See you later, meerkats! Yeah, come back anytime. And next time, bring the whole pack back. Incoming! Duck! Hit the sand! Whoa! Whoa! That was a nice landing. And this time? Whoa! This time it is a duck. It's a duck, it's a duck, it's a duck. With a message in a bottle. It must be from Jackie. I love walking along the beach because so many creatures live in the sand. Like this guy, a hermit crab. Hermit crabs are so amazing. They eat fruit and other things they find lying on the beach. And they live in shells that snails used to live in. They walk all over the beach, but they're never far from home. That's because they carry their homes on their back. Where are those hermit crabs going? Hey guys, I think these hermit crabs want to move into my castle. I love my shell collection, and I like it best on the beach, where it belongs. A beach is an incredible place to check out creatures. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many amazing creatures live in, under, or above the sand. And are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know where they're going. To, to the, the beach. beach. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. How are we gonna get to the closet with all this sand blocking the door? No problem, Chris. We'll just switch to plan D. 
plan D. Yeah, D for digging, like the meerkats. <laughs> You know what's gonna happen next? I don't wanna see this. Time to hit the beach. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Yes! We're here at the beach to see those amazing creatures who live in, on, and beneath the sand. Like those ibis. They're sticking their beaks in the sand and eating little creatures. <laughs> and one of the great things about sand is that it always lets you know who's been around. Sea turtle tracks. You're right, Chris. Wow. And there she is. She's heading back for the ocean. She must have laid her eggs on the beach. Sea turtles lay eggs in the warm sand. About 50 days later, the eggs hatch. The first thing the baby sea turtles have to do is crawl out of the sand. These little creatures have to crawl through about a foot of packed sand to get to the surface. The second thing the baby sea turtles have to do is scramble down the beach towards the water. They boogie to the sea as fast as they can. The hatchlings aren't the only ones on the beach. A crocodile and black vultures, too. And they're looking for dinner, sea turtle dinner. So the baby sea turtles really have to move. I think they're going to sneak by. They're going to make it. He's almost there. All right, he made it. In the sea where every sea turtle belongs. The sea is the place to be if you're a sea turtle. There are a lot of great creatures out here, but you know, living in sandy places is rough. For one thing, it's hot. And for another, it's hard to find any fresh water. Yeah, and I'm thirsty. Well, you know the old saying, if you're thirsty, follow the creatures who know where the water is. Camels! Maybe a camel will lead us to one of the greatest watering holes around, Animal Junction. Let's see, uh, one, <sighs> Whew, we two, made it. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> what are you doing, Tom? Well, look at my buddy. I counted eight legs. She's also got two big claws. A scorpion. Huh? A scorpion lives in the sand and can go for months without eating or drinking. And you know what else? Their babies don't hatch from eggs. They're born live and bright white. See them? For about a week, they ride on their mom's back until they can get around on their own. Ride on their mom's backs, just like baby lemurs. Hey, Zob. Huh? We got somebody we want you to meet. Who? Who? Mangatsika, you're huge. Yeah, he is huge. He's a camel, Zob. And he's one of the tallest sand creatures in the world. He must be one of the biggest, too. Maybe being so big and tall makes it easier for him to spot food in the desert. A camel eats a lot and stores fat on his back, which makes the hump. This one-humped camel is called a dromedary. Dromedary. <laughs> dromedary. Good name. <laughs> I think I'll call him Dromeo. Over here, Dromeo. Here. Want some to eat? Yeah. Here, have some carrot. Yeah, oh, you have carrots, Zob. Camels love carrots. Here, have another carrot. Wow. <laughs> it's good, huh? Look at these lips, how they grab for the carrot. <laughs> They're like little fingers, two little fingers. Look at this, come on closer. It's so neat. Two little fingers grabbing. One, two. They're grabbing for it. I better give it to them now. There we go. Look at those fingers grab. <laughs> Chew like a camel. A camel chews his food really slowly, moving his mouth from side to side. That's ultimate camel grinding action. Here, want some more? Here you go. 
And check out his feet. Oh, wow. They're so big and wide. Here, take a look at my feet. Yeah, they're perfect for climbing. Yeah. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> hey, no, no, don't pull me off. <laughs> Crazy camel. A camel doesn't climb, but he does walk on soft, sinky sand. Which means a camel needs feet that are big and wide and all spread out. Kind of like these flippers. A camel's big round feet help him walk through the sand without sinking in. Hmm? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Chris is the best sand walker. But a camel is. Camels are built for sand. They even love rolling in it. Camels love rolling in the sand. <laughs> hey, Sam, you gotta try this. <laughs> I'm rolling like a camel. <laughs> Great way to cool off <laughs> on a hot day. <laughs> and it sure helps if you're itchy, too. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Rolling in the sand. Hey, I knew somebody who liked to spin in the sand in. Oh, yeah. In Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I bumped into Noggin Drill. Oh, oh. I said, hello, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zabu. Oh. Watch your hand. I'm looking for a sandy place to dig my home in. Have you seen one? Well, gee, I don't know. How about over there, where uh, Google is? Oh, 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 hi. Oh. I can't dig over there. It's too hard. Google shows Abu how hard the ground is over there. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, pretty hard. <laughs> see, the ground is just like rock. I can't dig a home there. Well, there's got to be another place that's soft and sandy. Well, I don't know where to look, Zabu. I think I know who can help us. Oh. Follow me. Uh, <laughs> uh, good luck. Uh, uh. So I took Noggin Drill to see Green Puppy. <laughs> hi, Zabu. <laughs> Hi, Green Puppy. Is this a good place for digging? And she said, Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's sandy and soft here. Hey, it's great for digging. So I said, Why don't you try it, Noggin Drill? Well, okay, Zabu. I'll give it a whirl. Here it goes. So Noggin Drill started to spin around and around. He spun up in the sky. And then he spun down in the sandy ground. <laughs> He's doing it. How's your hole, Noggin Drill? It's soft and sandy, just the way I like it. Come on in and see my new home. So I did. Oh, oh sorry, Zob. Where'd where he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> the end. Great story, Zob. And here's somebody else who disappears in the sand. A sand boa. Do you want to see why she's called a sand boa? Watch this. Sand boas are really neat. Like their name says, they live in the sand. And you can see how her head is shaped kind of like a shovel to go digging through the sand. Wow. Look, she's digging and disappearing. She's going, going, going. Wait, she's gone right underneath the sand. <laughs> oh my God, Zika, look, the camel's drinking. <laughs> wow. Listen to how the camel slurps up the water. And he's still drinking. He goobered me. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the day. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Sand is fun, but mango is better. Bye, Chris. Bye, Martin. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. <laughs> you know, one thing's for sure. What's that? I can't wait to hit the water. Yeah, me too. Sand always makes me want to go scuba dive. See you later, camel. Yeah, eat as much as you want. 
Hello, my name is Matt, and this is my pet hamster. His name is Snoopy, and he's about a year old. Alter Creatures. We're rounding the last bend, Chris! Oh yeah, we're gonna be there in record time! Yikes! Whoa! Ah, perfect timing. We got so hot rollerblading, we really needed that. <laughs> hey, let's call Zabu. Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Hey, Zabu! How you doing, buddy? One thing about Zabu, he doesn't like to get wet. At least not very often. Yeah, he's definitely not a water creature. But he loves drippy wet papayas. So, that's what we'll give him. Zabu papayas! Good munchies, up. You can munch on those all day. He loves papaya. Great to see ya! <laughs> ah, Vuki! <laughs> that means I'm full. Oh, you speak Malagasy? Well, yeah, a little bit. What I learned from you, buddy! Whoa, you're all drippy like the papaya! <gasps> just like the creatures I just saw! Who'd you see, Zop? Well, first they were swimming and, and then they were walking! Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I've been seeing. Can you help me guess this? There were four eyeballs on two round heads. That's because there were two creatures standing up straight and tall in the water. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. animal. They were zipping and zooming as fast as a fish. Black and white, feathered swimmers. Do you know who they are? We can figure this out. All right, wings like flippers. Hey, brothers, look! Webbed feet and a waddly walk. Hey, brothers! Black and white feathers. I know who the mystery animal is, do you? Hey, brothers, look! Penguins! <laughs> yeah, penguins! Mystery animals are here. <laughs> They're African penguins. Guys, Penguins love water. Their whole bodies are built for swimming in the water. They're true water creatures. Wow, and feel those feathers. They're so smooth. They're really tiny, almost like scales. That helps the penguins in the water. And that's where they're going right now. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. They're, they're going right in the pool. Splish. Splash. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna call you Splish and Splash. Splish and Splash the Swimming Penguins. <laughs> Do you like those names? <laughs> hey, where are you going? They're both getting out of the pool. Hey, that was a pretty short swim. Yeah, especially for a penguin. For some reason, these penguins don't want to swim in our pool. I'm gonna find out why. <laughs> I don't know why, the water's great. Hey, Martin, be careful. It may be great, but it's wet. Too wet for me. Oh. Zob, you've been wet before, right? Hmm. Yeah, but I don't want to get all wet today. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah. No, water's too wet for me. Hmm. Hey, we have to find out why the penguins don't want to swim. Yeah, you're right, Zob. Penguins usually love being in the water. Maybe they just want to walk first. <laughs> Penguins do a funny walk. Let's walk like a penguin. Try it. You can do it. That's the way. I'm doing it too.
Even though they look kind of clumsy, penguins can travel long distances on those short little legs. Hey, you guys make good penguins. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you got me, bro. Yeah. How come you guys are in the water and the penguins are out of the water? We love the water. But I wonder why the penguins don't. Oh, maybe they're hungry. I can't swim as good when I'm hungry. Hey, I know what to do. Let's go get a snack. Splish, splash to the snack machine. Lots of food here. I'll feed them. Penguin food coming up. Hey, is that all there is? One little piece of food for two penguins? Penguins eat about 15 little fish a day. So we're gonna need a lot more food to feed these penguins. I wonder what's wrong with this machine. It must be broken again. Time to bring out the big guns. Don't worry, Splish. Chris will fix it. Yes, he will. Hey, if this doesn't fix it, nothing will! Hey, who hubba hubba! He did it! Well, I guess that's one way to fix a food machine. Oh, penguins eat these funny nuts? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Munga, Zika, those nuts are cold! These oh. are nuts, Zop. These are ice cubes. Ice cubes? Frozen water. Penguins eat ice? <laughs> Why do penguins eat ice? They don't eat ice, oh. but ice is great for cooling things down. Yeah. Ice tea. Huh? Mm. You want to try some Zop? Oh, sure. Oh, 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 oh. That's a cold one. Oh. That's it. Cold. <gasps> it's not cold. Oh. That's why the penguins aren't going into the pool. Zop. Remember when Chris and I went in the pool? Yeah, I remember. I don't know why. The water's great. The water was great for us, but it wasn't great for the penguins. You're right, Martin. The water's too warm for the penguins. Penguins love cold water because that's where the fish are. And African penguins have fattened feathers that let them stay warm in the cold water. Yeah, but if the water's too warm, the penguins get too hot. Yeah, so these African penguins are looking for cold water. I know what the penguins would like. What's up? Let's throw all the ice in the pool so the penguins will have great water to swim in. Let's see now. I think there's more ice in this box. Yeah. Whoa! Great idea, Zabu. You are one smart lemur. Here, take a load over. Oh, thanks. Whoa! Whoa. Well, that's too cold. You forgot. I'm from Madagascar. I don't like the cold. Wow, those penguins are hot for ice. Well, that's because they want to cool off. Have you ever played ice basketball? Let's throw all the ice in the pool. Yeah! Oh, 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 nice one! Good job, Chris. Ooh, nice form, Martin. Ooh, slam dunk. Martin's icing Chris! <laughs> Whoa! Oops, sorry, Zob! That's okay. Hot, oh, cold, and wet. Oh, too wet for me. Oh, hey! It worked! It worked! The penguins are going in the water now that it's cold enough for them! <laughs> Zabu, you really know how to help penguins chill out. Look at them go! Splish and splash are really splish splashing now! Hey, those penguins look like they're flying underwater. Yeah, this is where they belong, in the ice cold water. That's where they go fishing for food. Most penguins can dive down to 250 feet below the surface of the ocean. And some, like the emperor penguin, can dive even deeper than that, well over 800 feet. I'm going in. One, no, 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 two. No, no, Martin, Martin, you'll be too cold in that ice water. Remember? Uh. It's great for penguins, but not for Krat Brothers. You're right, Zob. Yeah. Penguins have fat and feathers to keep them warm in icy water. I don't. We'll need wetsuits huh? to swim with these penguins. Wearing a wetsuit is like having feathers and fat, just like a penguin. It'll help us stay in the cold water longer. I'll be right back. Huh?
All right, another penguin coming in. All right, yeah. <laughs> Do crack penguins in the pool. Yeah. You guys are good penguins. <laughs> Thanks, Sob. With our wetsuits on, we're just like penguins. You know, Chris, this ice really did the trick. Oh, oh sorry, Zabubafu. Hey, that reminds me of one time in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap, when all of a sudden, I bumped into Narchi. Oof! <laughs> Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Great to see you. Hey, Zabu, want to play Goobleberry Ball? <laughs> sure, I said. So we played. I threw the Goobleberry throw, Ball throw. to Narchi, yep. and he threw it back to me. Yeah. Hey, Zabu, catch this. <laughs> it's my super duper double looper. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> uh oh. That was our only Goobleberry. How are we going to play now? Oh. Oh. Suddenly, hey. the Goobleberry oh, blew right back to us. Hey, hey where did that come from? Uh, who blew that Goobleberry? Nobody. Okay, then, uh, who threw it? Me. Who's me? Yeah, who's me? Me! Phoebe! Huh? Phoebe wouldn't come out of the water. She was a water creature. But that was okay, because every time our ball went into the water, Phoebe got it. <laughs> and we played loop-de-loop -loop ball all day long. <laughs> hey, Phoebe, throw it over! Yeah, throw it back! Okay. Thanks. <laughs> the end. Chris, Martin, you know the best part? The best part of that story is that I didn't even have to get wet. Yeah. Well, I know one thing. Penguins and lemurs are the same in a certain special way. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I have a nose. Uh, oh, and the penguins have that pointy thing. Well, that can't be it. That's a beak, Zob. Penguins use their beak to catch food. And they also use their beaks to clean their feathers. Uh, how am I like a penguin? Um, well, lemurs have long legs for jumping and... Uh, Oh, penguins have extra short legs. Yeah, penguins have short legs for steering in the water. Oh, I know now. I know how lemurs and penguins are the same. <laughs> Lay it on us, Sav. I have dark and white fur, and penguins have dark and white feathers. High five, Sav. You got it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm feeling penguinish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel penguinish. How about you? Penguinish. Penguin, penguinish. Penguinish. Hey, nice leap. I'm one cool bird sitting on an ice cube. Yeah. Penguinish. Hey, you know what? Ice is fun, but it sure is cold, even with our wetsuits on. Oh, yeah. Everybody out of the pool. Come on. Don't forget to walk like a penguin. are going home now. Bye, penguins! Come back for a swim anytime. Yeah, and a freeze, too. Incoming. Duck! Hey, <laughs> it's a lantern falcon. Wow, this is no duck. Of course not. It's a lantern falcon. A message from Jackie. Let's see what Jackie's doing. Open it. Hi, guys. I got a new fish today. Her name is Sunny, and she'll love her new home when she gets used to it. Moving's hard, even for a goldfish. When I brought Sunny home, I knew the water in the aquarium was a different temperature than the water in the plastic bag. And I didn't want to give Sunny a shock. But all I had to do was put the plastic bag into the aquarium and wait a while. And now, the water in the bag and the water in the aquarium are the same temperature. So I can let Sunny out of the bag. Look, I think she likes it, and she has new friends. I wish I could just go swimming in there with them. Boy, that'd be really fun. Jackie's right. It's so amazing to swim with water creatures. Not if you're a lemur. Blech. <laughs> yeah, swimming's too wet for Zabu. But for Krat Brothers, it's great. 
And are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Let's go swim with some of the most incredible water creatures of all. To the closet! They're going to the closet. All right, They're so what do we need? Hmm? Hmm? Water! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. <laughs> See you later, Zob. Bye, brothers. We're here at the ocean. The ocean is full of incredible water creatures. They live, eat, and some even breathe underwater. Do you want to be a water creature? Come on, let's go. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, everything's so blurry. I can hardly see anything. Me neither. Well, we better go back up. Our eyes just aren't made for seeing underwater. Yeah, to be a water creature, you need special eyes that let you see underwater. We need our masks. These masks will help us see like water creatures. Yeah, come on. That's more like it. Dolphins! Hey, wait for us! You're swimming too fast! We'll never be able to keep up with those dolphins. Yeah, if we want to be a water creature, we need something to move us through the water. We need... Flippers! These will help us swim like water creatures. Let's go! We're much better swimmers now that we're wearing flippers. Now we're swimming more like dolphins! Hey, but where'd the dolphin go? Oh, there you are! How can you guys swim so well when you're hardly even moving your bodies? You're just built for gliding through the water, aren't you? Oh, nice turns. Hey, I've got an idea. If we really want to be a water creature, we need to do one more thing. You know what I mean, Chris? Yeah, we have to be able to breathe underwater. And to do that, we'll need... Scuba gear! So now we have air tanks so we can breathe underwater. Masks so we can see underwater. Flippers so we can swim underwater. Now we're... Water creatures! A stingray! Wow, there are all sorts of incredible water creatures down here. We're surrounded by them. A parrotfish. A green sea turtle. Hey, I'm gonna try to swim like her. Chris, look down! A gopher fish! A remora. And where there's a remora, there's sometimes a shark. Swimming with sharks is incredible. Swimming with all water creatures is incredible. But I guess we better head back to Animal Junction, bro. I'm right behind you. So's he. Wait till we tell Zabu about this trip. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> Sounds like we have company. Hey, Zab, what's happening? Whoa. While you were on your trip, a friend came by. Yeah, he's a big cat. Whoa, a jaguar. And we know this guy, he's been here before. Martin and I are playing with our cat friend, Jagwater. Hi, Jagwater. <laughs> that is one big paw. Hey, and you know something else? What? His paw is as big as your head. It is. <laughs> yeah. his, his head is as big as three of mine. He's got strong arms. Mine are so skinny. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, oh, I have big and grabby balls. <laughs> I think Jaguar wants to play. How about some basketball? Yeah! Nice one, Chris! Look at those yellow eyes follow the bouncing ball. That's what big cats do when they're hunting. They follow the action, and then they pounce. But now that's 
happening here? I don't think this Jaguar wants to play basketball. I do. Whoa! Perfect. Jaguars love to swim. <laughs> Come on in. I think the Jaguar wants to stay dry like me. Let's find out. OK. Throw it back in, Zog. <laughs> It does want to play in the water. <laughs> a jaguar is the only big cat you can call a water creature. A jaguar even hunts in the water. They're great at catching crocodiles, fish. Right now he's practicing his hunting. He's hunting basketballs. This water creature is having fun and loving the water. Jaguars are great swimmers, and they have wide feet for paddling. Whoa, whoa, get that basketball! You have to have fast eyes to follow these basketballs. <laughs> and a jaguar has them. Watch out, Sob. This jaguar is a real splasher. Whoa, whoa, missed me. <laughs> I can hop and not get wet. Throw me the ball, throw me the ball. I'm playing, too. Heads up, Sob. Uh, I caught it. I caught it. Hey, that reminds me of my story in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. Leap. No, I can help. Leap. And I left right between Narchi and Goobble. Well, hello, Zabu. Hi, Zabu. Goobble found a big patch of <clears throat> Goobleberries. Yeah, they're over here. Yummy. <laughs> well, I'll help you eat them. Now stand over there, and I'll blow them to you. Oh, okay. I want to help you eat them, too. Fibby? Oh, hi. I don't know if I can catch two goobleberries at once. Uh, I've got an idea. If we all want to help, then Narchi uh, can blow the goobleberries uh, to Fibby, uh, yeah. then Fibby throws it to Goobble, oh, then yeah. Goobble eats it. Well, it sounds right. complicated, but okay, uh, I'm ready. Okay, here I blow. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, so that's what we did. Narchi blew the goobleberry to Fibby, uh, and uh, Fibby uh, got it and threw it to Goobble, uh, and Goobble uh, ate it, of course, uh, and Goobble's belly filled uh, up uh, and got uh, big uh, and round. Wow. Way to go! Goobble's belly is getting full. Oh, yep. That's my favorite kind of belly. The end. <laughs> Watch out, Zob, because you never can tell when a water creature's gonna... What? Shake! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Jag water. How come I'm always getting wet around here? <laughs> come on, Zob. Don't you like it just a little bit? Hey, you know what? Wet isn't so bad. You know what? Wet is okay! Whoa! Sapumafu, I think you're turning into a water creature. Yeah! I want to be a water creature! I want to be a water creature. I can't believe yeah. my mind. Can you? <laughs> yeah, I want to be a water creature. Come on, guys. Lay it on me. Soak me, okay? Is this the same Zabu? The water's too wet for me, lemur? No, I'm a water-loving lemur. I want to be a water creature. Come on, guys. Throw me in. Okay? Okay? Come on. Here. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Ready, Zab? Yep. One, two, three! <laughs> I feel a water creature-ish. Now he's a water creature, all right. Water creature-ish! <laughs> I'm a warlock! <laughs> oh, I love it! <laughs> water creatures are amazing! <laughs> and there are so many of them! And now there's one more! I'm a water creature, too! <laughs> I love getting wet! That's my favorite part, too, Zabu! <laughs> and I love and walking with the penguins! <laughs> oh, me too! And playing ball with the jaguar! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names but we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! I have to go home now See you later, brothers See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! <laughs> and we'll see you later, too Hey, Chris, what do you say we go snorkeling on a reef? Yeah, let's go. Hi, my name is Christine. These are my fishes. I feed them once a day. Who's in the egg? 
How you doing, Chris? Okay, but I'm glad we're almost at Animal Junction. This load's kind of wobbly. Woo. We're filling up the food machine because there are going to be a lot of animals headed this way. Whoa! <laughs> you okay, Chris? I'm okay. <laughs> know how we know? Creature poop. That's a sure sign that animals are around. Also, spring's here, winter's over. And a lot of animals sleep through the winter, right? Like black bears, who are so hungry when they wake up, they'll even eat grass. Talk about hungry creatures. Where's Zabu? Let's call him. Like we're hungry bears. Zabu. Come on and help us. Zabu. Zabu. How you doing, buddy? Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Come on. Time for your snack. Zabu's such a good buddy. Right, Tom? You know Zabu. He likes to have a snack before he talks. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Zabu, cucumber. Yum. Give me some of the food! <laughs> Hi, good to see you. Hi, Zob. Oh, hey, Martin. What's going on? On my way here, I saw animals everywhere. I saw big ones with little ones. They look the same. Lots of animals have babies in the spring. I don't see spring. Where's spring? <laughs> what? Spring's everywhere. When winter's over, everything warms up. That's spring. And that's when many animals have babies. Cats have kittens. Prairie dogs have pups. Sheep have lambs. And horses have foals. Zika, I just reminded myself, I saw the most amazing animal. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this <laughs> mystery? <laughs> she had bird feet. And she wasn't alone. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. They bobbled their heads. She's a clucking, head bobbling bird creature. Do you know who she is? Okay. Wobble and a bobble. She makes a cluck cluck sound. I know who the mystery animal is. Do you know who she is? I know you know this one. Yeah, a chicken! Not only one, we have chickens! Ah! Mystery animals are here! Ah! Oh, some crazy looking birds! Ah! Hi, chickens! I wonder if they're hungry. Did you sleep all winter? Chickens sleep every night, Zob. Just like we do. Hmm. But I think you're right. Right now, they're just hungry. Hey, let's eat like chickens. Okay, peck with your beak. Ow! Oh, oh I hurt my nose. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Let's try again, Chris. Okay, Zob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. I think we need beaks. Yeah. Chickens have great beaks for getting food off the ground. Food like tiny little seeds. Hey, see that wobbly red thing on her head? That's called a comb. Hey, you wanna make chicken sounds? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Chickens are strutting their stuff. Let's do the chicken walk. I think I'm getting it. Sort of. This is hard for Lemur. Way to go, Zob! When you walk like a chicken, you have to stick your neck out. Back and 
for <laughs> Come here! Look! Why is she sitting on those bumpy rocks? Those are eggs, Zob. She sits on her eggs to keep them warm. By keeping them warm, she makes them hatch. Hatch? Hatch? What's hatch? Hatch is when the babies break out of the eggs. Hey, waiting for eggs to hatch is making her itchy. <laughs> She's not itchy. She's plucking feathers out of her beak to make her nest warmer and more comfortable for the eggs. There are little baby chicks inside those eggs. They stay inside until they're ready to hatch. And they have to stay nice and warm to hatch. So where's the mother going? Good question. Oh, of course, that's a Rhode Island red chicken. They lay brown eggs, and those eggs are white. So she didn't lay those eggs, and she's not the mother, but who's gonna keep them warm? <sighs> I'll warm the eggs. I'll help them hatch. <laughs> oh. These eggs sure feel funny. They're bumpy on my bottom. <laughs> oh, you're the bumpy one. Look at this. Hmm? These eggs are all the same. Oh, yeah. They're chicken eggs. But that one's different. Wow. Who could it be? I don't know. Let's see. There's a lot of animals who lay eggs, right? So it could be uh... a seagull egg. No, but they're smaller and speckled. Can't be a seagull egg. What about a snake egg? Do you know that most snakes lay eggs? And snake eggs are white and about the same shape. Could be a snake egg. Could be. But I know it can't be a snapping turtle egg because she lays her eggs in the sand and her eggs look like little ping pong balls. But that's only the beginning. There are so many other creatures who lay eggs. So whose egg is it? Don't know. Maybe we have to wait and see what hatches. Hatch, hatch. What's it like to be in an egg? Well, Zob? It's pretty squishy and gooey in here. <laughs> What's Chris doing inside that egg? What, Chris? It's pretty squishy and gooey in here. Whoa. Chris, you gotta speak louder. We can hardly hear you from inside that egg. I said, <laughs> it's pretty squishy and gooey oh, in oh, here. Oh. <laughs> this is some egg. One thing about being in an egg is, it's pretty cozy and safe in here, but it's really hard to see. Where is everybody? I got in here, but how am I gonna get out? Can you believe there's a little chick curled up inside here? Whoa. Oh, it's so hard, how can they breathe? Well, the eggshell has little air holes called pores that let the air in, so the chicks can breathe inside the egg. Hey, you know that yellow ball inside an egg? That's called a yolk. 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 And the yolk is the food that the chicks eat so that they can get big and strong enough to break out of these eggshells. Wow. Exactly. If you're going to be in an egg for a while, you need something to munch on. And I've got food in here, too. Pizza! <laughs> Chris made a yolk. Chris made a yolk! Yep, and it's time for me to hatch out of this egg. Ah. Ah. The chicks want out, too. A chick has an egg tooth on the tip of her beak. With that egg tooth, she starts tapping at the inside of the shell. And soon, she makes a crack, and then she can start breaking out. Wow, she's hatching. That egg tooth really works. It's a good thing I have my pickaxe. I can use this just like a chick uses an egg tooth. <gasps> Chris is hatching. Hatch, hatch. He's out. Oh, oh. These eggs are cracking, too. Oh, hatch, hatch. More hatching. I can't believe my mind. It's happening! Chris is hatching, and the eggs are hatching, too. Chris and the eggs are hatching together. Hurry up, Chris! Yeah, you don't want to miss this. I know, but getting out of here isn't as easy as it looks. I gotta hurry up. I don't want to miss those chicks hatching. Come on, Chris. You can do it. Ah. Hurry up, Chris. The eggs are hatching. There's got to be a better way. Those chicks are going to hatch, and I don't want to miss this. Oh. Quick, Zob, check it out. Huh? Look at her. Oh, she's coming out. Her head's pushing out. Go, Chick, go. Oh, come on, oh. push harder. She's almost out. You can make it. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's making her way out. She hatched. She did it. 
Welcome to the creature world. Chris did it too! He hatched! Finally! I made it! Hurry, Chris! The rest of the chicks are hatching now. Wow! Way to go, chicks! <laughs> we did it! They're all gooey and wet. Like Chris! <laughs> Yeah, but soon they'll dry off, and then they'll be super fluffy. Like those two. But those eggs are still hatching. Like the egg that hatched in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I landed on a huge rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was an egg. And it cracked. Oh, my mind got a great idea. I could fix the egg with some Zabu Land tree sap. So I got some, oh, it's very gooey. <laughs> and I put it on the egg. But the egg kept cracking and oh, cracking and cracking and cracking and whoa! <laughs> Zingo! Has baby Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> mommy? <laughs> me? I'm not your mommy. Oh, you help me find my mommy? <laughs> so I said, sure. And we went to find his mommy. On the way, baby Zabumafuasaurus kept saying, oh, where is she? Where's my mommy? Until suddenly, oof! I hit a huge leg. Here's your mom. Mommy! <laughs> baby! So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. <laughs> the end. Manga, Sika. All the chicks are hatched and fluffy now. <laughs> Listen to them. Make the chick sound. Look how they're picking at the straw already, Sabu. Oh, yeah. He finished his yolk, and now he's looking for something else to eat. They're getting pretty adventurous already. They're starting to leave the nest. Where are you going? They're already starting to explore. There they go. Come on. All right. Come on, guy. Come on, chicks. Follow me. I'm a leaping lemur. I think they like me, Martin. I think the chicks think Zabu is their mom. That's me. I'm a chick's mom. I feel different and not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel chickenish. How about you? Chickenish. I feel chickenish. <laughs> what? Chickenish. This way. I'm a big mama chicken. All the chicks will follow me. are adventurous, but they're not very good climbers. <laughs> hey, I need a snack. It's hard to be a chick's mom. Oh, the chicks look hungry. I'll get them some food, too. <laughs> I have to be their mom, because she's not here. Rhino? No, that's not it. Bear? No, that's not it either. <sighs> Chick. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, I guess it's broken again. Well, maybe it's empty. Hmm. No, I think it's empty. <laughs> Supper time! Hey, Zob, hmm? what's it like being mom to all these chicks? Oh, it's a fluffy job, but somebody's got to do it. I can do it as long as their real mom isn't here. But where is she? There she is, the mom. She's a shaver chicken, and she lays white eggs. Hi, mom chicken. Oh, now that she's here, I can take a nap. Sob was a great chicken mom, but now the chicks have the real mom to follow. There goes the family. Uh, uh, everybody up? My chicks have flown the coop. Bye, chickens! Bye, Mangatsika chicks! But what about this egg? I can't wait until this egg hatches so we can find out who's inside. <laughs>
So I wonder who's gonna hatch from that egg? Well, whoever it is, Sabu, pretty soon it's gonna start hatching. And whatever the creature, they all hatch in the same way. First, they break out of the shell. And like a snapping turtle does, they fight, and when they finally get out, they're off and on their own, ready to take on the world. Some snakes, like a boa constrictor, get a little help from mom. She watches over the eggs as each baby snake makes a slit in the egg with her egg tooth and slowly unwinds out of the shell. But who could be in this egg? Duck! Nope, it's not a duck egg. Duck! I'm telling you, it's not a duck egg. Duck! duck. Hi, Sticky Feet. You missed the greatest thing. Baby chicks hatched from an egg. From an egg. Oh, forgot. You're a bird. And most birds raise chicks every year. So he's probably seen a lot of eggs hatch. Hatch, yeah, hatch. <laughs> it's a message from Jackie. We came here to go swimming yesterday. But instead, we did something even better. You see, salmon come here to lay their eggs and we didn't want anyone to disturb them. We got some rope and put it around so people wouldn't cross the river there. And we even put up a sign to let people know. Hey, why don't you guys cross the bridge over there? Sam and I are laying their eggs here. Look. What a great animal helper. Munga, Zika, not just birds come from eggs. Martin, Chris, look, the egg, it's hatched. Martin, Chris, it's hatched. What is he? An alligator, of course. Alligator. Alligator. Where's alligator's mommy? You're onto something. Alligators are one of the few reptiles that need their mom after they hatch. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are they thinking? We have to get this baby alligator back to his mom. To the swamp. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh. <Woo. laughs> Look who they forgot! Hey, Chris! Look who you forgot! <laughs> hey, you're the reason we're going on this trip, little guy. Oh, he's moving fast. <laughs> Thanks, Sob. They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming Come on, little alligator. Let's get you back home to the, the wild. I got your pack, Chris. See you later, alligator. <laughs> we have to find this baby alligator's mom. But you know, a mother alligator can be one of the most dangerous creatures in the world. However, she's not dangerous at all. As long as you give her space, you don't get too close to her nest, and you don't pick up her babies. Uh-oh. Uh we better get this baby alligator home, and quick. OK. Alligators always build their nests near the water. So, let's hit the water. <laughs> on, Chris. <laughs> Swamps are one of the best creature habitats. There's plenty of water, plants, and food for all kinds of creatures. Check it out. Pink flamingos. An animal. And birds like herons find lots of fish to eat here. Oh yeah, this is a great place to find creatures. A soft-shelled turtle. What a smooth swimmer. Hey, and water snakes like cottonmouths love to live here. And in a swamp, you'll find alligators everywhere. Oh! <laughs> hey, Chris. Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> nice polling, Martin! <laughs> Look at this! An alligator nest! An alligator mom buries her eggs under a mound of dirt, leaves, and grass. Then she packs it all in with her nose and feet. With the heat of the sun, the mound incubates the eggs. And all she has to do is stand guard until the eggs hatch. Once the eggs have hatched underground, the baby alligators call to their mom to help dig them out. 
And then sometimes, she'll even carry her babies in her mouth down to the water and take care of them until they're big enough to be on their own. Think he's trying to tell us something? I don't think he's talking to us. Uh-oh! It's Mom! Remember what we said about giving an alligator mom her space? And not getting too close to her nest? And not picking up her babies? Back where you belong. Living free and in the wild. Run! Whew, that was a close one. Yeah, but mission accomplished. We got the baby alligator back home to his mom where he belongs. And now it's time to head back to Animal Junction. Hey, Zabu! We found the alligator nest! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, I'm helping to hatch. The daddy bird went looking for food, and I'm sitting on these huge eggs. Hm. Yeah, they're emu eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping them warm, 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 so they'll hatch, hatch, hatch. Mm. Oh, whoa! Wait, whoa, uh, whoa! What's with him? It's the eggs. They're hatching. Look at them. Wow. Way to go, emus. They did it. Yeah. Here comes the proud papa to check them out. <laughs> the emu chicks have to hatch by themselves, but after that, they won't be alone because Dad takes care of them. Look at how their eyelids come from the side and not from the top like ours. Oh, yeah, when they blink, it goes whoop, whoop. That is really neat. I never noticed that before. They like to huddle together right after they're born and keep each other warm. Hey, they're going to sleep. This reminds me of another time I met Zabumafuasaurus in Zabu land. <laughs> I was sleeping along. Sleep, 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 sleep. <sighs> when all of a sudden. <sighs> hey, Zabu! Are you sleeping? I'm not sleeping anymore. Margaret! I'm all alone. Can you puppy sit me? Maybe, if you're a puppy. Uh, I'm a dinosaur puppy. Okay, then I'll <laughs> dinosaur puppy sit you. Uh, do you want to chase my tail, Zabu? Uh, I'll chase it before you can say Zabumafuasaurus. Zabumafuasaurus. I got you. Well, let's whoa. see if you can hang whoa. on. Whoa. I can hang on. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Oh, 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 hi, Zabu. Hi, Noggin Drill. I oh, oh, watch your hand. Oh. I, I think I need some help taking care of baby Zabumafuasaurus. Well, maybe you should call his mom. Great idea. Hey, Mom Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. Mommy, huh? Zabu took care of me. Thank you, Zabu. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride. Ah! Home. <laughs> the end. There sure are a lot of great creature moms around, aren't there? Me too, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you too, Sam. <Sob. laughs> I think your dad's leaving, baby chicks. Bye, emus. High five. Yeah. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! yeah. Bye, brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you, Zab. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, my name's Kai, and this is my pet hamster, Sarah.
Hail to Tails! Hey, Martin, I found another app, and I've scored another pair! <laughs> I can't believe how much fruit is lying around today. Oh, yeah. We've been on a picking spree. All the fruit is ripening, falling off the trees. Great way to wash my apple. Hey, Chris, can you rinse off my pear? Sure. Thanks, bro. Nothing like teamwork. But you know, I wish we had prehensile tails. Then we could carry all this stuff through the trees without ever having to worry about tripping. Speaking of tails, let's call our long tailed buddy Zabu. Oh, great idea. Zabu! <laughs> Zabu, the leaping lemur. <laughs> Take a look at Zabu's long lemur tail. That tail helps him balance when he's climbing in the trees and leaping around. Lemur tails are amazing tails. And Zabu can even curl his tail. Hey, Zabu, how about a snack? There's a lot of fruit happening here today. All right. Zabu, I got an apple for you. Zabu loves apples. There you go. <laughs> no, not the whole thing. That's too much. <laughs> I cut a piece for you. There you go. Uh, oh, you want that big piece? You really love apples, don't you? Give me some of the Spinning. I love doing that. Do you like spinning? It's fun. Um, Vuki fruit is great. Mmm, yummy. We better start filling up the snack machine with the fruit Martin and I brought in. So all the animals can have yummy fruit and be Vuki. Vuki, yeah. like me. <laughs> fruit is great, but this is getting ridiculous. It's fruiting season, the time of year when all the ripe fruits fall from the trees. And the perfect time for fruit-eating animals to have a feast. Sounds like there are a lot of animals up there. Because so many animals love fruit. I can't believe my mind. Look at all the fruit-eating creatures. They can help us eat all the fruit. So no fruit goes to waste. And we can all get spooky. Sound? That sounds like a dog barking. But a dog in a tree? There must be some other creature barking up there. Yeah. The animal I saw, he was barking and, and he was eating fruit and loving it too. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a long tail, a nice face, and a long body, too. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. He was looking for fruit to eat. <laughs> and so was I. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a long-tailed, fruit-eating creature. Do you know who he is? Okay. Big eyes with little ears that stick out. A long tail that grabs. A long tongue? You know who the mystery animal is? Yeah, a kinkajou. Now he's a mysterious creature. Manga Chica, mystery animals here. Uh -huh. The mystery animal is a kinkajou. What did you say he was? A uh, kinkajou? Gesundheit, it's a kinkajou, not a kinkachu. And this kinkajou loves munching on fruit. Hey, that's great. And then he can help us eat up the good fruit. So you must be the guy who's been dropping all the fruit on her head, huh? Hey, you want a piece of tantrum? Yeah. Isn't it neat the way he stands up when he eats? Oh. <laughs> 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 
and got squirted in the face. <laughs> Let's see that again. It's slow motion. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Kinkajou! <laughs> Kinkajou, Kinkajou! Funny fruit eating Kinkajou! <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there, Kinkajou? I'm coming up. He likes to eat his fruit sideways. I wonder, does fruit taste better sideways? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> hey, Sob, now you're both sideways fruit eating creatures. Well, I'm a creature who likes eating fruit always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name the Kinkajou Grapes, because he loves eating grapes. <laughs> grapes, grapes, it's a sweet name. <laughs> yeah, look at that cool Kinkaloo Jew tail. It moves like your nose. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Wow, what an incredible tail. It's called a prehensile tail. Prehensile tail? Prehensile, Zabu. Prehensile, prehensile. What's prehensile? Prehensile means grabbing. So hmm. a prehensile tail is a tail that can grab onto things. Oh, like a kinkajou's tail. Exactly, and the prehensile tail is what makes the kinkajou so good at climbing through the trees. Hmm. It's like having a fifth hand. This little guy is called a short-tailed opossum. And he has a prehensile tail, too. There you go, buddy. Chris, get a load of this. I can't believe my mind. Wow, look what he can do. He can eat a banana upside down while he holds on with his tail. A kinkajou scrambles from branch to branch, using his tail as an extra grabber. Here, it's like an anchor. A kinkajou hangs from his tail just like a spider monkey does. That way, they both keep their hands free to grab fruit. Wow, a kinkajou's tail is full of muscle. He's perfectly comfortable just hanging from his tail. And when he wants to get up, he just uses his stomach muscles and his tail to pull himself up, and he's off and climbing. A kinkajou's body is built for climbing in trees. Whoa, look how muscular the kinkajou is. He kind of looks like a cross between a mountain lion and a monkey. But kinkajous are more closely related to kawadis and raccoons. A raccoon can climb too, but not as well as a kinkajou, because raccoons don't have prehensile tails. Chris, Grapes is climbing over to say hi. <laughs> have you ever had your hair brushed by kinkajou claws? <laughs> His claws are really sharp. <laughs> That's why he's a good climber. Grapes, let's climb over to get some fruit. There's still so much to eat. See how Grapes is sniffing all the fruit? <laughs> well, during fruiting season, when there's a lot of fruit around, a kinkajou can become a pretty picky eater. He eats his favorite stuff and tosses away the rest. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh-oh, if Grapes is gonna be picky, then all this great fruit will go to waste. <laughs> we can't let that happen. I wish there were more kinkajous to help us eat, but this kinkajou's all alone. Kinkajous are pretty solitary creatures, Zob. Huh? That means a kinkajou hangs out mostly by himself. They don't live in groups. But when a tree is fruiting, a kinkajou gets to hang out with whatever animal is in that tree. And sometimes, lots of kinkajous are in the same fruit tree. Chris, you're right. Now there are two kinkajous in the same, um, in the same animal junction. <laughs> Come on, join the fruit feast. Help us clean up all this fruit. Yeah, dig in. I think I'll call this kinkajou Bananas, because she likes bananas. Yeah, Bananas is a good name, Zabu. It's kind of like why I called Grapes, Grapes. Because he likes grapes. <laughs> and Bananas is Bananas for Bananas. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I thought you said kinkajous live alone. Well, they do, Zabu. But remember what we said before? About how during the fruiting season, kinkajous hang out together? Yeah. Well, here you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bananas, do you want to hang out with me? She likes me. Yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, Bananas makes one kinkajou. And Grapes makes two kinkajous. Huh? Hey, there's kinkajou number three. <laughs> this is great. Now we have three kinkajous to help eat up all the fruit in Animal Junction. I think I'll call you Vuki. 
Because we'll eat till we're bookie. The kinkajous are a three creature fruit eating machine. I'm feeling kinkajouish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I'm feeling kinkajouish. How about you, kinkajouish? Feeling kinkajouish. Kinkajouish. I'm a fruit loving climber. I'm a kinkajou. Kinkajouish. Feeling kinkajouish. Kinkajouish. I'm a fruit loving climber. I'm a kinkajou. Kinkajouish. Hey, brothers, look at the meat. The way they're eating, I think we're gonna finish all this great fruit and none will go to waste. Oh yeah, this reminds me of the time Google cleaned up all the fruit in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I met Google. Hello, Google, I said. Hi, Zabu. How are you doing? Oh, I'm sad because all the Goobleberries are ripe, and if they're not eaten soon, they'll all go to waste. But you're the great Goobleberry Gobbler. I am. Ugh. I'm sure you can gobble all the Goobleberries before any go to waste. Oh, okay, Zabu, I'll give it a try. Yeah. <coughs> well, good, <coughs> but not fast enough. We need help. <coughs> Here's Narchi. Hi, Zabu. He can help. Huh? Narchi. Ah. Blow some Google berries into Google's mouth. Okay, it's a go. Ready, set, mm, blow. Mm. Hurry, go faster, Narchi. We have a lot of Google berries to clean up. That's faster, but that's not fast enough. There are just too many Google berries to gobble. Maybe Zabumafuasaurus can help. Oh, sure can, Zabu. Watch this. Oh, she's using her foot. Hooray! You smooshed them all. Yeah, you're welcome. Now it's Goobleberry Goo. And Google said... I can slurp Goobleberry Goo really fast. Here it goes. Come on, Google. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, baby. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Oh, slurp. Go, Google, go. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll gone, I'll gone. Oh, Wookie. Hooray, you did it, Google. You ate all the Goobleberries. Oh, they were yummy, and now I'm sleepy. Mm. Uh, Google? Well, I guess that's the end. <laughs> oh, the Kinkajous are Vuki and Sleepy too. But who's going to eat the fruit? The fruit just keeps on falling. It's raining fruit. Now it's raining right into the snack machine. Uh-oh, what if it gets too full? I don't think the snack machine can hold all of that fruit. Oh no, we've got a fruit falling snack machine emergency. Hey guys, look, something's happening. Whoa. Bed for cover. I smell mud. It's <laughs> <laughs> Hey look, an owl monkey. He came to Animal Junction to eat fruit, too. And a Binturong came in for the same thing. More fruit-eating creatures. Maybe there's still hope for a fruit cleanup. Yeah, porcupine. Capybaras. Wallaby. Snow monkey. Elephant. It's a fruit-eating creature party. It's the great fruit cleanup. Wah! Eat, everybody, eat. Way to munch it, popcorn. Good work, Porky. Well, you do, Snowmo. We're getting there. Keep on munching. I'm Vuki, but there's one more apple. Hooray, toothbrush. We did it. Fruit eaters ate all the fruit. Animal Junction is all cleaned up. The creatures ate all the fruit. And we're Vuki, so it's nap time. Oh, yeah. I think I'll nap too. No time for napping, Zabu. Huh? Somebody's coming this way. Who is it? Incoming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a... He's not a duck, he's Moonface. The Whoa. barn owl. 
Owls and hawks use their tails mm -hmm. to steer when they're flying. Oh. Like that Harris hawk. Who uses her feathers kind of like a brake to land. She fans out her tail feathers, which slows her down. Munga Zika, what does Jackie say? Guess what, guys? Thomas's cat had kittens. Aren't they cute? There are five of them. Look how little they are, even their tails. Thomas's little sister wanted to hold Pushkin. This is Pushkin right here. But she tried to pick him up by the tail. Ouch, I said. Alex, that's a tail, not a handle. You put both hands gently around the tummy to lift up a cat. See? Yeah, that's the way. It's nice to pick up a kitten. And it's nice for a kitten, too. Just as long as you pick them up the right way. Bye, guys. A kitten's tail is not a handle. But sometimes an elephant's tail is. Uh, Martin, you can't pick up an elephant by his tail. <laughs> You're right, Sob. Yeah. No one can pick up an elephant. But a baby elephant holds on to her mom's tail so she doesn't get lost. No way. Way. Wow. It's just like when your mom holds your hand so she knows where you are. Just like an elephant. Tails can do so many amazing things. And I have an idea. Since tails are so incredible, why don't we build our own tail? Yeah, a tail that can do everything. Let's build a super tail. To look for creatures with super tails. To the closet? To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? Let's go. They're going on a cool adventure. Got everything? Really? don't know what's in yep, store. Yeah, I think so. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Let's go. They're hightailing it out of here, and I think I'll go on a trip, too. My very own Zabu trip. You know, Zabu should come on a trip sometime. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, maybe one day he will. Okay, we're off to see some animals with super tails. And we're going to build our own super tails along the way. Hey, let's get started with white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer really know how to use their tails. Yeah, these creatures have super tails. Well, that tail might not look so super now, but when a white-tailed deer senses trouble, she raises her white tail to warn other deer of the danger. Hey, Chris, they're speaking their language. They're taking off. They're in a hurry, too. I don't think it was me. I think it was her. A cougar. That's why the deer are out of here. Well, the deer are gone. But we have a new addition to our super tails. Lock on signal tail. Check. Did you hear that? Yeah, somebody else is close by. A rattlesnake. And listen to that tail rattle. That tail is saying, I'm here, watch out! And you should always give a rattlesnake his space. All right, we have another addition for our super tails. We've got signal tails, warning tails. What's next? How about those big bushy ring tails? Raccoons have striped tails to tell each other they're raccoons. But why are they hightailing it out of here? That's why, an alligator. She has a huge tail that helps her move through the water. Look how her tail powers back and forth. <laughs> Martin, did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds familiar. <laughs> I know that sound. <laughs> it's Sabu! <laughs> Sabu! <laughs> What's Sabu doing out here? Brothers, a creature with the biggest, most mungan secret tail was heading to Animal Junction. You have to see this tail. You won't believe your mind. We're right behind you. Let's go. Hurry. Slow down, Zabu. Hurry. A lemur uses his tail to balance when he's leaping through the trees. Let's leap like lemurs. We're with you, Zabu. Come on, Chris. Come on, Martin. Hurry up. What could all that squawking be? I don't know. Let's go see. Here he is. Over here! Over here! A peacock. Yeah, peacock. Wow, that's the biggest tail I've ever seen. Super tail bird, peacock. Yeah, 
You're right, Zabu, he is. And get this, a peacock drags his tail along behind him until a peahen comes around. Then look out, he fans his feathers out to make the largest bird tail in the world. But I don't see any peahens here in Animal Junction, so this peacock probably won't be fanning out those amazing tail feathers. Besides his amazing tail feathers, a peacock also has really neat feathers on the top of his head. Whoa! Ah! Ah, what a super honker! Ah! Quack, 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 quack. Wow, I bet peacocks fly really well with those kind of feathers. Actually, Zob, hmm? peacocks aren't the greatest flyers. Hmm. Peacocks just fly in short bursts. Peacocks like to fly up to high places so they can have a look around. You can really see a lot from up here. Take a look at these beautiful tail feathers. Purple, blue, orange, yellow. Chris, Martin, I think Peacock sees something. Yes, a peahen. Maybe the peacock will fan out his tail and strut his stuff for her. Whoa! He's got her attention. <laughs> it looks like he's dancing. You got it, Zob. He's doing the peacock strut. Let's all strut like a peacock. You can do it. So great, it reminds me of a tail in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. Oh, oh, Sabu, Sabu, we need help, 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 help. Log and Joe stuck in a branch again. Wh Wh again. Wiggy? Stuck in a branch again. Oh, get get me help. down from here. Help, help, I need to get down. Hmm, maybe somebody with a super tail can use it to help him down. Oh, I know someone, I know, I know. Oh, Gobo, 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 can you help? Can you help, Gobo? Oh, yeah, I'll help, I'll help. But help with what, huh? Nogandril needs a tail to help him down. Get me down, help, get me down. Oh, jeez, Abu, I love the help, but I don't have a tail. Well, maybe I could help with my great big belly. No, 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 but it won't work. We need a super tail. Hi, Wiggy, what's the matter? Nogandril needs help, help, he needs help, help. I've got just the tail for the job. So Zabumafuasaurus oh, put her big tail up and helped Nogandril get out of the tree. We were all so excited, we went for a Zabumafuasaurus ride while Wiggy flew ahead. We laughed for the rest of the day. <laughs> the end. Zabumafuasaurus's tail was almost as good as the peacock's. Wow, look at all those eyes. Oh. They're all staring at me. Whoa. Those eyes are making me di dizzy. That's what happens to the peahen. She falls under his spell. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. Guys, I gotta get my tail on home. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Zav. See you later, buddy. <laughs> See you later. Let's go. 
I could hear that this is Topaz.